Hey guys, welcome back to Spectre Labs. In this video, we're going to take a look at the James Donkey 619 mechanical gaming keyboard, which is available for about $50 shipped. This is essentially a long-term video review of the 619 because I've been using the 619 for about uh, a year and a half now. The 619 is a keyboard that has been around for several years. It's not exactly new, but it is still selling quite well on websites such as Amazon and it's Partly, I guess, because of the attractive price or $50. With that, you actually get a premium gaming keyboard that has a rather good features, a good build quality and such. So now let's take a look at the 619. The 619 has a rather understated design. It's not exactly something that screams for attention. It features a detachable micro USB cable here. Now this is a rather high quality USB cable. It's braided and it also includes a magnetic shield, magnetic shielding. Uh, I've been using this keyboard for over a year and there's no issues with the cable or anything or any issues with the keyboard. So let's just plug this back in first. Now the 619 also features LED backlight and the color here is orange. Uh, unfortunately, there is only one color here that there is no RGB lighting, it's only orange. And I find the lighting here to be a bit dim compared to other gaming keyboards. It is fine if you're using in a rather dimly lit room or in the dark, but if you're in this kind of light condition, you won't, you won't notice the uh, orange light. The 619 also features double shot injection keycaps. Now these keycaps have a layer of plastic above the um, symbols. This means the symbols will never fade off. As you can see here, this keyboard has been used for over a year and uh, not a single key symbol has faded. It's so far looking good. The switches on the um, 619 are Gateron blue switches. In my opinion, these keys are quite smooth. Uh, I have no issues with them. Let me give you a sound test of the switches. So let's take a look around the keyboard at the side here. There are some plastic um, support, I guess, and there's the James Donkey logo. Same thing with the right side, but the right side has no logo. And right here is the back, and you have the um, foldable legs. There is also soft pad, um, anti-slip pads here. And overall, the, the keyboard is pretty well constructed. I've been using it for over a year. It's been very well, it's been performing very well. There are no issues. Uh, one thing I would like to add is this. Uh, this 619 is not a splash-proof keyboard. That means you shouldn't be splashing any moisture on it. Um, I actually spilled moisture um, drinks on this keyboard twice and what happens is if you notice the F key, the, the LED light is not working. Let me, let me stop the breathing of the light. Okay, you can notice that the F key isn't working. I oh, know, I mean the light isn't working but the key is working. That means the LED has uh, been shorted by the moisture. And more recently, I actually spilled coffee on the keyboard on this side. And what happens was that the, the entire row down here stopped functioning. But after a few days, it, it started functioning again. So I guess the, maybe the moisture dried up. The um, James Donkey features customizable LED light functions. Uh, pretty basic, actually. You can control the breathing. You can turn off the lights, the intensity, and the, uh, the rate of breathing. To control the breathing, you press the FN button and page down. For example, to turn off the lights. To turn it on, you press uh, page up, I guess. Okay. Yeah, page, page down is to turn on and turn off. And to increase the intensity, you press the FN button with the up down button. Right now, it is at its maximum intensity. And there are three levels. This is the medium. And this is the low intensity level, and this is, I guess, the lowest off. I guess four, four levels, I guess. And 
You can also toggle the breathing function by pressing the Fn and home. It is a bit dim. Uh, I guess you can you probably not notice the breathing. So all the functions of the LED lights can can be controlled by pressing Fn and the keys here and the arrow buttons, the frequency and all that. So overall, I'm pretty satisfied with this keyboard after one year of using it. Uh, to those who are not familiar with mechanical keyboards and they might be wondering if a keyboard like this is worth the price, um, my answer is definitely yes, these keyboards are worth their price. Although they cost more than membrane keyboards, they are actually a lot more durable. My experience with membrane keyboards is they tend to fail after about one or two years if you are a heavy user. But with mechanical keyboards, the keys will last for very long. In fact, these uh, James Donkey keys are rated at 50, 000, 50 million clicks. So they should last a very long time, probably years. So definitely, yeah, these keyboards are worth the money. You might pay uh, 10 or $20 for a cheap gaming keyboard, but those keyboards, I can tell you, won't last. They would just go on for one or two years before failing. So yeah, that wraps up my review of the James Donkey 619. I hope you found it useful and thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed watching it, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So till the next video, I'll see you again. Goodbye.